Bookman rumbling it ahead here. Tonu'u. Spencer again. Stencil's left out. So 2 2. Ballas through on him. So Tutu got buried there by Joseph. A Ronnie Clark on the left wing side. A quick throw in by Forster to Timu. To Basham. Mark Ellis. John Leslie. Andre Bell, who's came into the game for Paul Cook. Ellis. So this is how Otago are going to play it. We thought there might be some surprises. Here they go again. Timu. He's got Wilson with him. Bashup. Bashup. Wilson. Latter. A super tackle by Shem Tatupu. Scraggs Ladder in the corner. It's not Ladder's week at the moment. Somebody else has gone off for Otago. Mark Ellis. So Gordon is still on. Good bust there by Aronic Clark. Got through the hard yards. Carried on by Fromont. He's looking for a big game today. There's the huge 2 meters 3 lock forward. Here comes Auckland. Turning up the heat. Robin Brook. Tonu. Spencer. Nomo. Stetsness. And Auckland's hot wing out. Satutu is hot indeed. What a super try that was. Here it comes again on the Air New Zealand replay. Well, the hard work was done firstly from Fromont. There he is charging in again. It came to the Auckland backs. It was a clever little move with Stensness. And then Wasaki Satutu. He's too big and too strong that far out. Great start for Auckland. What a superbly put together series of passes in the back line. And then some direct running by Satutu. Joseph. Into Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick got blown away by the man coming through. Basham. Bill Gordon, number 17. The replacement player for Mark Ellis, who's gone from the game. You'll easily be able to pick Gordon. He's got the blood nut. Wilson. Jeff Wilson. Oh, only Wilson could score a try like that. Jeff Wilson could delight the Carisbrook crowd like that. Just watch this on the Air New Zealand replay. It's one of the best wingers tries you'll ever see. Jeff Wilson knew he was going to score it from the moment he took control. Beautiful chip forward. The pace was on. Fantastic dive. Tremendous points for Otago. Fantastic athletic ability. First of all, he makes the catch from Joseph. Then he puts the kick in, end over end, so it's bouncing end over end. Then great speed, then the gymnastic dive. What a super score. Now he has the kick to come. That is a super moment for Otago Rugby. They've taken the lead back to this man's special qualities. Yes, Keith, the moment he touched it, he sort of gave me the impression that he was going to make it. He did it perfectly. The ball set up. Fantastic dive. Pulled in there by Fremont, number five. <laughs> on to Tanoku. Now Otago have it. Forced to kick it for Wilson. Look at the big crowd watching from the side. Pinay and Joseph. Joseph having a most authoritative game here today. Forster. Kornfeld. Forster. Penner, it's hard and bruising in there. Oh, there's plenty of physical stuff going in. Runners going in close and really whacking it in. Otago having difficulty finding holes in the Auckland defence. 
They're trying though. Forster. Justin Kelly down high. Fifteen metres out. Midfield. Leslie. Timu. The whole move seemed jammed up tight in the middle until Cullen made the break. Here's the last part of it. Yes, on the Air New Zealand replay, the magic of the Otago backs. This time it was JT, Johnny Timu. They were waiting for Wilson, but Timu went round the lot, scoring in the corner. Here's Leslie. He made the hip-swinging pass that went to Timu. Look at them all wondering what Wilson's doing. John Timu probe went around Clark. Fitzpatrick came across with a diving attempt, and Timu was in. Wilson is in trouble. Bell takes the kick. It's another three for the home team. Twelve minutes gone, second half. Sixteen to seven. Good hook, straight feed, it looks like. And Forster clears. Hasn't found the line. Clark to Howard. To a Ronnie Clark. We know he's got a strong passer. It's tipped on now to Nelmo. Spencer. Zenzan brought trouble. Carter. Under the uprights, Carter has scored a try. That's brought this game right up close again. The kick did not find touch. Clark began it. It came across the field and Auckland scored the try. Yes, it was well done. It came through immense pressure. Andre Bell, all the Otago defenders knew they had to shut it down. But Nama straightened it up for Otago and Carter went underneath the post. And then the conversion. <laughs> Zinzan Brook has great instincts, knows what to do with the ball at all times. He whipped the pass to his left and sent his flanker, Mark Carter, scooting it out of the post. 16 to 14, Otago still have the lead. Satutu! He has done it! Waisaki Satutu puts Auckland in the lead. His second try today, his 11th of the season. It was all set to run to the right, but it didn't go quite as planned. Well, it was a planned move, all right. The uh, Targo loose forwards took as many as they can, but Satutu, so strong, close to the line, reaches out the big right arm and scores. It was set to go here, but Otago did disrupt it here with a jarring tackle by Joseph, but it bounced straight to Satutu, and he lunged for the line, and he got there. Satutu has gone off the field as the game restarts. Otago must score a try and something else to get the lead. Shem Tatupu. Kevin Nipia. What a big run. Mark Carter. Here comes Auckland again. Spencer Stensness. Tonu, Carlos Spencer, John Namo. That's it. It's another heartbreak for Otago. And Auckland are through to the Air New Zealand National Championship final. That's clinched it. Two tries in two minutes. John Namo. Yes, looking on the Air New Zealand replay, it's good back play. It's a strong finish from Auckland and John Namu. There we see him just fending off John Timu as he runs in. Very well executed move. Great bullocking run from Kevin Nepier up the middle of Carisbrook. And this player here, John Namu, finishes it off for Auckland. The run will bring great joy in Auckland, the city of sales. John Namu scores the try but there will be tremendous despair and disappointment
here in Dunedin. Yes, relief at last. Forster. Gordon. Clark. Howard. And this is an absolute nail in the coffin. Shane Howe brings it around behind the posts. And that's it. That's four tries in 14 minutes. 31 to 16. It's over. The kick is over. The game is over. And for these people, the Otago team led by David Ladder, the season is over. Auckland are through to the championship final with a late burst in the last quarter that bought them 26 points. And they've shut Otago out 33 to 16.